Most of you guys might have heard about this uh, incident in New York City. Um, and I just want to warn you that the videos I'm about to show you are gut-wrenching. Um, I'm not going to show you anything graphic or violence, but what I'm going to show you is a video of how our current administration, our current president, is responding to this brutal murder of Officer Jonathan Diller on duty. Uh, and I'm going to also show you a video that is so touching and so moving. Just get your Kleenex ready um, and maybe even get your uh, anti-blood pressure medication ready because um, this is really a big deal. And this, to me, is emblematic of what's happening in the country. It's symbolic. It's a microcosm of what's happening all over our country. The deterioration of law and order, the anti-police, defund the police movement, and the illegal migrant crisis. So Officer Jonathan Diller, who has, uh, he's a husband, he's a dad to a nine-month-old baby, was murdered by this guy right here, Guy Riviera who has 20 prior arrests, not five, not four, not three, 20 prior arrests. And he murdered Jonathan Diller on a routine traffic stop. Over a thousand New York Police Department officers gathered today for his funeral. Jonathan Diller died very, very young, only in his early 30s, serving the people of New York at the hands of somebody who is the byproduct of DEI, is the byproduct of egregious, unjustified, completely demoralizing policies in New York City. He died serving the public. He left behind a nine-month-old baby, a wife, and God knows how many countless lives have been shattered by this. This is the administration's response to this brutal, violent, awful, abysmal murder of this amazing young man who was serving uh, as a New York Police Department officer. I want you to listen to this video, but again, I warn you, it's going to make you very upset. It relates to um, uh, the death of the officer. Look, our hearts go out uh, to this officer who tragically lost his life in the line of duty. We're also praying for his family during this difficult time, uh, who now has an empty seat at their dinner table. President Biden is deeply grateful for the sacrifices police officers make to keep our community safe. Uh, this shooting is yet another painful reminder of the toll of gun violence, that what it's, in, what it's doing to inflict uh, on families and our communities and our nation. Uh, and that's why the president signed more than two dozen executive actions. That's why we're able to pass a bipartisan agreement to uh, deal with the gun violence that we're seeing in this country. Obviously, more work needs to be done. We need Congress to continue to act uh, on making sure that our communities are safe. Uh, and um, again, our hearts go out uh, to the to this office. Ring Jean-Pierre, if you're watching this, shame on you. You turn this brutal murder into some type of political weaponization to galvanize more support for your absolutely useless and worthless gun laws? your worthless policies, instead of talking about the truth, how did this guy, guy, you don't even say his name, how did this thug criminal with 20 prior arrests, how did he get gleaned out of the justice system? How did he avoid incarceration? How did he avoid prison time, jail time? Why is he on the streets? I'll tell you exactly why he's on the streets. He's on the streets because of these unbelievably radicalized, I can't even say left. You can't even say left. They, they're not an unrecognizable party. It's not the left. It's this radicalized extremist viewpoint that we need to 
allow these people to roam free on the streets. We need to give them credit cards. We need to give them money while we neglect our own citizens and neglect our own homeless uh, um, people, our own uh, American veterans who are in the streets, who can't get health care, who can't even buy groceries, never mind the people who are working hard every single day struggling just to pay rent, just to pay their mortgage, just to keep their uh, kids clothed and fed. Never mind all that. We need to let these guys loose. We need to give them zero bail, no bail. They don't have to pay any bail. Let them out. Let them loose. Let them go through the system scot-free as if nothing happened. Give them money. Give them free health care. Give them clothes. Where hardworking Americans, amazing Americans like Jonathan Diller who serve their country, who are serving the public, why are we being penalized? It's because of guns? Corinne Jean-Pierre, it's because of guns that this happened, not because of your woke mind virus DEI parasitic infection ideologies, which lead to parasitic, infectious, wasteful, harmful, dangerous policies. You're going to blame this on guns? Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on Joseph Biden. Shame on your entire administration. Shame on all your policies. Take responsibility and accountability for your actions. This is a tragedy that could have been avoided. I told you I was going to get heated. I told you I was going to get upset. This just makes me so crazy. It makes me absolutely crazy. I would love to hear what you guys think, Nez Nation, in the comments. What do you think of the fact that this guy had 20 prior arrests, the fact that he just glided through the justice system like nothing happened. He was let out time after time after time, given break after break after, when none of us get breaks, committed this atrocious act. Probably is going to be let out on the streets again. We don't even know what's happened to this guy. Legacy media and mainstream media won't even say his name. I wonder why. Let me know what you think in the comments. What do you think of this? What do you, th you think this is because of guns? Is this because of terrible gun legislation? Is this because of the NRA? Is this because of uh, um, failed uh, 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 gun policies? Is that why this poor young father and husband died like this? Is because of failed gun legislation? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Before you go, I want you to watch something extremely touching and then i'm going to share with you how we can help this young family these victims these this poor wife and this this child i'm going to share with you a way in which we can help but i, I want you to see something that really i want to leave this video on a positive uh, when i say positive just there is nothing positive about this story but just something that made me feel so much better about what I saw from this press sector secretary and this uh, awful administration was the unbelievable support and the unbelievable outpouring of love, honor, respect from New York's finest. Check this out. <laughs>
screen that you're looking at right now, Nez Nation, is a GoFundMe for Officer Jonathan Diller's family. I'm going to leave a link in the pinned comment as well as in the description of this video and podcast. Um, if you can donate anything, obviously, I know uh, um, Mr. Diller's uh, family uh, will greatly appreciate it. Um, and please share this out and share as with as many people as you can. Uh, and uh, obviously any donation would be uh, fantastic. Uh, and so um, my heart goes out to uh, Mr. Diller's family. If you happen to be watching, um, God bless you. God bless your amazing father. He will not be forgotten. He will always remain in our hearts. We will cherish his memory, his integrity, uh, and his amazing service. Um, I can just, it's a little bit hard for me to talk right now just because it just makes me so, it's just absolutely heartbreaking uh, as a father, uh, somebody who loves this country, as somebody who appreciates law enforcement. Um, it just absolutely breaks my heart. So God bless you. God bless everybody. And God bless America. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon.